I was talking about the Canadians, and he said to me, yeah, but Toronto didn't play their best game. I mean, did you really see Austin Matthews? And I said, listen, I get your point. It wasn't Matthews' best game, and it wasn't Toronto's best game, but I thought Monaghan and Dvorak did an outstanding job in particular. Now, these are guys that, you know, Dvorak didn't get a lot of fanfare last year. He's going to get an opportunity with Marty St. Louis here to really show him what he can do. Sean Monaghan has not been healthy over the last little while. Here's a guy who scored over 30 goals, I believe, three times in his career. He's finally healthy. Eric Engels, a Sportsnet, talked to us about uh, an interview that he did with him, a piece that he did, and all the injuries and his hips and stuff like that and the rehabilitation. Monaghan looked really good last night. Eh? Well, he was one of the best players of a hockey player and he, he's a former first round pick like six yeah. overall i think uh i used to work in uh ottawa and he was playing for the 67 and or i didn't know you used to work in ottawa really eh? yeah but while well, in my in my other life <laughs> okay so, yeah and i i would see him quite often with the 67 and i remember i was man he is i i thought he would go uh faster in the draft but there was talk about his attitude which i never saw anything wrong mm -hmm. uh but yeah he, for me it was a great pick for calgary he's a great hockey player he's, you said it i mean he was injured how can you play your best hockey when you're hip injured so if, for me it was a great bet for montreal to get him last night he was awesome faster yeah. than i thought and uh yeah i mean if sean monahan is playing like sean monahan can uh i I mean, this this offense is, is going to be pretty good. Yeah, I got to run something by you. There's a player on the Montreal Canadiens that so far has disappointed me. I hear the coach talking about him in particular today, and he was very complimentary. I don't expect otherwise, right? I don't think he's going to throw him under the bus. But I'm wondering what the coach is seeing that I'm not seeing because I listened to the coach talk about him. And I think the coach is coming ac across as very sincere. He's very direct, Marty St. Louis, right? But what does he see in Evgeny Dadanov <laughs> and, and him playing the penalty kill? Like, I see a player who is not moving his feet, has not shown much commitment to defense since the preseason. I know it's only one game, and the preseason is not the end of the world, but am I – not seeing something that Marty's seeing? Are you seeing what the coach is seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'd love to get your well, take. Uh, first, Dananov looks like a lawyer. I mean, he doesn't look like a hockey player. He, he looks like your uncle who's playing hockey. He, he's a special guy. And I, I get what you're saying because a lot of people tell me that I look like a Hollywood actor and not a sports radio uh, Yeah, I look alike. I mean, I've heard Bradley Cooper. Uh, I think you look a little better than him, but uh, yeah, yeah that, I, I like it. But yeah, uh, go ahead. Dadanov played two minutes, 49 seconds on the PK. Uh, total in his career, three mm. minute 30. Total. So the most minutes he put, well, the most seconds he played in one season before that it was 58 seconds. So, so it, seeing him on the PK was, I mean, for me, I never thought that Marty Sen would use him. But he says, we have so many so many guys who can play on the power play that, you know, I, I need yeah. someone there. And when Marty Sen, we says, uh, you know what, I see you there. I trust in you. You can do the work. Well, you're going to do it. And that enough did it. I mean, it, it was great. And he said uh, this morning, he is so good on the on the power play, and I think was it Madison or Huberdeau saying that uh, Dadanov was one of the best players on the power play, the league that he saw. So I'm Marinero, and that clip you just watched is from our most recent episode of the Sick Podcast. Once again, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel; it's absolutely free, and you'll be notified when we go live. I'm Marinero. Tell your friends about it. This podcast, like me, is pretty sick.